up a calling from a bro. Man, they keep a talking on a low. Man, they keep a talking on a low, low, low. Well, that was a bit of a um, weird start. I've just got out of the shower. West Ham versus Stoke today. Looking for three points. Come on, you irons. Fucking hell, Bez. Right, guys, it is nearly time for kickoff. We are one hour and ten minutes away. I'm going on Twitter to look at the team lineup just really quickly. Uh, I'm ready to head over there now. But let's have a look if the team lineup is out. Is it out yet? It's not out yet. Where is it? It's not out yet. Team lineup's not out. I will get on to that. But I'm going to head over to the stadium now, like an hour before kickoff. But I've also got a signed copy of the Sidemen book. For one of the guys that sits around me, but in season ticket seats, it's really cool. You just like make friends around you, okay? It's really decent. So, got a signed copy for him. Gonna take this over there today as well, give it to him and just enjoy the game. Let's go. I didn't have it earlier, but now I do. So team news is in, looking strong. I use first start in London Stadium. Very excited. Come on, you irons. Also, Charlie update. He's in a football match. He's playing Sunday League, Saturday League again, but he's going to join us half time. So that's the Charlie update. He'll be here, totally poor half time, but Charlie update is successful. Let's go. Any a time to score a free kick, it's just before half time in this one. Yeah, Fez, decent. <laughs> right, so 45 minutes, we've got one minute of added time. The referee's having an absolute shocker. We've managed to win a free kick in like three minutes of added time. If there's any time to score a free kick, it's definitely now. Dimitri, do something, please. Just summon. <laughs> the whole Stoke team is in the hall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so half time now. Awful shit show. Just shit. Waiting for Charlie to get it, but shit, very shit. I'm fuming. It's awful. I don't even know what to say to you. It's awful. It's nil nil against snow and they're dog brains. <laughs> I've just lost the word. Charlie update, the man himself has arrived. He's back in town. Just played a football match. What was the score? Won my game. Yeah. Lost one nil. Oh, that's shocking. Let's hope we don't lose one nil today. Charlie, it's been an absolute shit show. I've it's heard, I've heard. it's I've been awful. Some kids. awful. Like, it's been more than awful. Hoping for a better second half. I've had two beers and a packet of crisps. That's what's driving me to it. It could be a chips game. It could oh, be a chips no, game. Can't do that. It, it could be a chips game. <laughs> Boatings always hiding. The best thing about this fucking game is the sky. I've filmed the sky about four times now. Look at it. It's the fucking best thing about this game, shithole. Fernandez and Fletcher coming on. Bilic bent over. Lovely. Pretty much what Stoke are doing to us. Maybe not. Well in. Well in. Go on. Antonio 
video's broken through. 1-0. Thank bloody God. Thank God. We needed that 1-0. Being here for this first half has made me appreciate this goal so much. What are you doing, you dumb? What are you doing? He's got no fucking reason to be out there. Go on. Oh, you stop. Oh. There you go. Blow the full time whistle. Useless fucking muck. Home time. Absolutely abysmal. We're finishing 1-1 one, one, one tap, so... I just I don't even know what to say to you. What an abysmal, abysmal game. Referee, Andrew Mariner. <laughs> I don't know how he has a job. I honestly don't know how he has a job. He's absolutely useless. He produced, I think, three yellow cards from West Ham players when Stoke players got one. And it was purely just because of, like, bad pressure. Because he's done fuck all otherwise. I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna rent a few more when I get in. But yeah, useless. I'll, just, I'll leave you with Charlie. Looking like this. Right guys, we are back in the flat. Just a, It's been a bit of an abrupt ending. As you can tell, my voice is like already going and there hasn't even been much to shout about realistically. But we didn't lose. That's the positive. We actually didn't lose. 1-1 one, one against Stoke. The game, Andrew Mariner, okay. I don't know how this referee has a job. Quite honestly, the worst refereed game I've seen so far this season. It was diabolical. Stoke did the exact right thing to get in the fans' heads, to get in the players' heads. We miss Winston Reid already. He's out for three to five weeks weeks with a hamstring injury we miss him so much already it's so blatantly obvious that IU can't IU can't play up front on his own IU is not a lone striker at uh, Swansea he had Gomez next to him Gomez is a huge figure that could win balls for him to chase on and get on to as well it's just he can't play alone Ashley Fletcher came on towards the end of the game and actually looked pretty bright I don't know why he hasn't been started a bit more often to actually give him a chance which is a shame but let's move on to the next few games I think we've got Tottenham away next which will be an incredible, incredible fixture, but will be incredibly hard too. So, if we manage to pull something off against Tottenham, I will, I will have a lot of hope. Then we go on to Arsenal at home, and I think then we've got, I think we've got Hull in that mix as well. And I'm not sure who else we got. I'll have to have a check. But those are the games coming up. We got point today. I think we're still 17th in the table. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been. It's been a rough ride today, okay? 1-1 one, one against Stoke, rough ride. If you do enjoy the match day vlogs, I make sure to crush the like button on this one. And if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? And I'll see you in the future. Later.